Hello there and welcome. Today I will talk about letter of intent. As you know, the letter of intent is the most important aspect of your admission application. So I will discuss how to write a letter of intent and why it's so important to write an effective letter of intent. So guys, I'm Asad Shah and you're watching Grad's Help. When I was planning for this video, I had two objectives in my mind. The first is to discuss how to write a letter of intent. And the second one is why it's so important to write an effective letter of intent with your application. So I will discuss one by one. So let's discuss how to write a letter of intent. So my suggestions are uh, you should divide letter of intent into four different sections. Maybe you can write a small or large paragraphs depending upon the requirements of your university. The first part should contain your personal introduction that includes your educational background and your work experience. So make a list of uh, uh, your degrees you have earned and then discuss about the work experience. And then the second part should contain the achievements you have got. Like if you have uh, won the scholarships, prestigious scholarships from any university previously, or maybe you have got gold medal in your uh, academic achievements. And then uh, in this section, you should also discuss about your future plans, what you're going to do, what you want to do in your future. Um, then in your third part, which is the most important part, you should discuss your research. Um, most of Canadian universities, or maybe if I'm not wrong, almost every university wants you to submit letter of intent along with your admission application. And this part um, will give them an idea about your research, about your intended research work. What's your research is about and so this part should contain the research objectives, your research question, little bit of literature review, introduction, background, and then the most important thing, the methodology. The methodology is very important to discuss in this section. Um, you, you need to define your methodology, you need to discuss the methods of data collection, you need to identify the data, and then you need to tell them uh, the, the methods of analysis as well. And then the fourth part, why you chose this particular university. You should also uh, need to include the potential supervisor's name. If you have already contacted the supervisor, potential supervisor, and you have got his or her consent um, that she or he will supervise your research, then you should mention that here in this part and then tell them that why um, you are going to study in this particular university, why you chose this university. So that's the important part of your letter of intent. And then at the end, you should conclude your letter and then close down with some closing sentences. So let's talk about the why part. Why it's so important to have a very good letter of intent. So let me tell you the secret. While making the decisions, final decisions, admission committee always look at your letter of intent because this letter has got everything. Everything mean your educational background, your work experience, your future plans, and most importantly, your research work your intended research work at the destination university. And if you have already contacted with your potential supervisor, they feel comfortable. Like they, all, they already know that this person can supervise your research. So I think 30 to 40 percent decision depends upon your letter of intent. So Guys, my suggestion is to make very good, influential, and very well-articulated letter of intent plays a very important role 
in your admission application. Stay tuned. Thank you. Keep watching Grad's Hub. See you next time.